Church of San Juan. Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd. I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well... I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. This is a magic So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sect of Seven. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. 26th of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, 
for only he who does will be worthy of this box. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light the end of days. Looks like it's from the 17th century. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. The others are worried that brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. Thank <laughs> you. 
under his wings you may seek refuge. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. There's a whole mural under here. Cruise, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah. It's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from the big guys? We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Station 2. Jesus falls the first time. <laughs> <laughs> 